Hi everyone, and welcome to a quick lesson today on how to set up a, a bone structure for a character that isn't bipedal in 3D Studio Max. If we go to, hold on one second, sorry. Mm -mm. So if you go to your uh, right hand panel here, we have our normal create menu. We gotta make sure we're the, in the create menu. And if you go through here, you have geometry, shapes, lights, cameras, etc., etc., until you go to systems. Now, normally before we set up the biped character, which is simply left click anywhere in biped mode and you create a character like that, change the settings and away you go. But let's say you want to create a bug type creature. We're going to go into bones and set up bones instead. So I want to go, let's say to a left hand viewport. And then once you're in bone mode, you can set up the sizing of the bones any way you want to, of course. Uh, let's say we're happy with it right now. All you need to do to start creating a bone is left click once, it creates the start of a bone, left click again, and it continues the chain of the bones until you right click. So I'm gonna keep left clicking and then I'm going to right click and you're gonna notice it's going to make a nib at the end. Now, a good practice when you start creating bones is start naming your bones right away. So I'm gonna start naming this, let's say, uh, spider uh, torso one, I'm going to copy that text. I'm going to call this spider torso two and spider torso three. Oh, oops, sorry, spider torso three, three, and spider torso three tip. Yeah, I go like that. The next step is wanting to create the legs. I'm going to create the legs. They don't have to be completely attached. You don't have to click on a previous bone. Just create a leg structure let's say like that now let's name this you know uh spider like one uh sorry top one top and then spider like one bottom will be the our other one and spider like one bottom tip will be the little tip that's created when we right click bottom tip now what we can do here is we can actually grab all these bones, okay, and you see we can move it and everything. And I'm going to hold shift and move it. And what it does is it creates a new section of bones. We're going to make sure it's on copy mode. And I'm going to copy these bones like that. And you can, you can rotate them now. So I'm just going to do a little bit of rotation here to make it have a nice angle that push them just a little closer together like that excuse me and uh, maybe I want them more concentrated here like this there you go now the spider has kind of a butt I have the four legs here uh, perfect now what I want to do is mirror these for the other side so I go to tools mirror i'm going to create a copy on the x-axis and you're going to notice it creates a copy of everything we have selected make sure you move it to exactly pretty much where you want it to be and you have this structure now the next step is if i move the torso bone here you know we're going to notice that it you know it moves but it's not going to uh move uh the legs with it that's because we need to link the legs with it so because the legs are linked to this, you know, kind of here, what we want it to link to here, we're going to go to our selected link tool up here, right here, selected link tool. And just remember this, that the child always follows the parent. So once you're in selected link mode, left click on the child and hold the click and let go, let go, sorry, uh, where you want to go, where the parent is and do the same thing for every leg. Child goes to the parent. Child follows the parent. Child follows the parent. Every time. Child follows the parent. That's the easiest way I can remember it. And the easiest way I can tell you about it. If you ever do link it to the wrong thing, you can always unlink it by clicking unlink selection right here. That's all you need to do. But right now, I think we linked it all correctly. I'm going to, to get out of uh, link mode, I just hit Q to go back to select mode. Then I hit W to go to move mode. And you see if I move or rotate everything will follow, you know, that bone. And the first bone that's created will be the torso. 
and we have that like that. Of course, we if we want to, we can delete bones. So let's say this is going to be pretty much our main bone, and I want to create a butt bone. We can just create a new bone here. It has a tip, and we just call it like, you know, spider butt. Spider butt tip. And I will link this bone filed to the parent. Now this is the main bone that controls everything. And this bone is, you know, just the off butt right here that I can control like that. So now that they're all linked together, they all form one solid object so that if we go to, you know, let's pretend that we have our spider model is this for some reason. If we go to skin, just make sure that we add those bones. Right now we're in a layer mode. So if you click this arrow here, you should see a breakdown of all the bones. Uh, this is what a bone symbol looks like right here. And if you go to uh, sort by hierarchy, you should see that they all link to each other properly. Uh, just fine. So but I like going in layer mode because I can just see a drop down of everything. So that should be it. I mean, uh, all you need to do is create bones, uh, link those bones together. Remember, child follows the parent. Uh, and uh, even though the child does follow the parent, so all those legs are following this center bone right here, you can still move the children on their own. So I'm still able to rotate right here. Uh, one further thing, if you want to take this one step further, you're going to notice like if we had a biped in Character Studio and we moved the hand, so let's refer to these tips as hands. If we move them in, character, in the Character Studio biped or just, just biped nowadays, uh, it would move the entire arm segment correctly, but not here, not for us. Okay, so what we need to do is set up our own, what's called an IK. I'm going to click on the arm, let's call this the arm right now, the top arm, uh, and I'm going to click on animation, IK solver. I'm gonna add a high solver here. So what that does is if you see, if we move the mouse around, we have a line that's being created. Assign it to the tip just by left clicking on the tip, and it's going to create a little crosshair for us. This little crosshair has now become our IK tool. And now you see, we can just move that crosshair any way we want. What you're going to see, one problem, so just make sure to do that to every bone and you'll get like automatically awesome looking limbs and stuff like that. Uh, one problem you will see is that if we start moving the body, that leg is always gonna wanna follow that IK. Well, just make sure that the IK, this uh, crosshair that it creates, is linked to the main bone of the body. This means that if we move the body, the IK will follow it. And uh, anytime we move the crosshair, it's always linked to the body. So if we move the main body, it doesn't matter. Everything flows correctly. So if you're gonna create an IK, remember top of the arm or top of whatever part of the body it is, uh, animation, IK solver, high solver is what I like to use. And then uh, you click on the tip or hand or whatever it shall be and it creates that crosshair, then link that crosshair to the main biped, main bip, anything. Uh, in the motion menu, not create, not modify, hierarchy in the uh, motion menu right here, right beside the hierarchy, you'll see if you click on that crosshair, a whole bunch of different settings. You can change the swivel angle, so what angle that leg is always sitting at. It can be a complete target. You can change how far it rotates and its main position, and how smooth the animation looks. And um, whether or not it will show the crosshair or not, and whether or not it will show some other things uh, if you want to or not. Normally the default settings are perfectly fine, but just in case it swivels at the wrong angle, just go to the motion menu and you can see right here, it will have that fixed for you just like that. Well, that was a little bit on creating a bone structure and adding an IK. Have fun with that. Rigging is the same thing, uh, same way that you do for a biped. On your model, just assign the skin modifier and then at uh, you know attach all the bones to that modifier, and just uh, you know go to your go to your uh, edit envelopes and vertices mode, and then start working away. Thank you very much, and uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video.